This is the special interview of Goa Freaks Outcom, Darjaram and Chicago. So welcome everybody all around the trance world. Here we are in Anjuna, Goa at Raja Ram's house. My best buddy in the world has arrived. Welcome. So this is an interview we're doing for GoaFreaks.com. Check it out on the internet website everybody. We are here in Raja Ram's house. It's an amazing, beautiful, tropical. As you see behind us, the palm trees, the banana trees, tropical life. And now I want to ask my friend Raja Ram about the first time you came to Goa. What was that like? How did you and I meet? And right. what was the trance scene like? Well, it was 1989, New Year's Eve. And a good friend of mine, Paul Geis, brought me here. He kidnapped me in London, put me on a plane and took me to Goa. And I had a house just around the corner here. And he introduced me to the Goa parties on the very first night. At three o'clock in the morning, I just arrived, he said, get out of bed. And I said, what's going on? He said, we are going to a Goa party. I said, but three o'clock in the morning, everyone's asleep. He said, the police are asleep. He said, but nobody else is asleep. So we're going, and I went to this party, the black lights were on, the Arabian Sea was rushing in, the coconut trees were moving. Disco Valley. Disco Valley, and a couple of days, you know, the most incredible party under the trees dancing until the red dust filled the sky you couldn't and then the dawn came up and the sun was sparkling and you suddenly looked around and there were thousands of freaks all dancing to the one beat all on the same drug all on the same love line and a few and days the first later, time you heard trance music and yeah. we're at that kind of a party yeah. a wild man go at trance party. never heard anything like it we'd heard all the other english stuff and electronic music but this was truly new it was the new beat it was the new time new synthesizers and a new spirit of cosmic energy came down to goa exactly in this place and everybody who was here started to have the most amazing experiences of their lives yeah. and uh, then we were best friends going to all the parties and dancing and we always thought wouldn't it be great to be in a band or to be DJs but we were didn't know how to do that and uh, so we partied uh, for all those years and then finally yeah well I mean I started making trance music in 1990 because well, we should the first, go back to the infinity project yeah, because I, I came back after Goa and I got back to London and I got a friend of mine, I said, we've got to start making this music and we got a studio. I bought a ton of synthesizers and we sat there and then we came back the next year to go and started playing the tracks and everybody started dancing. We thought, holy Killer crap, tracks. you know, this Which is amazing. Year it was again? This was 1990 crossing into 91. Yeah. And we made 50 or 60 tracks and we still didn't play or DJ. All we wanted to do was dance. And we came for seven, eight years every night dancing. I used to go through 20 t-shirts in a night. They'd put a washing line up and we'd hang all the t-shirts up. They were just sopping wet. And that's how we paid the DJs with our love, with our sweat. That's the best way to pay them. 